today let's see a question from gate 2020 that is from open channel flow and about hydraulic jump so with the help of this question we'll see how can we prepare short notes and what are the things to keep in mind when we prepare short notes so the question here says a hydraulic jump occurs in a triangular v shaped channel so this way the channel is like which side slopes one is to one vertical to horizontal so these slopes are one is to one it says the sequent depths are 0.5 meter and 1.5 meter so so in a triangular channel if we see the longitudinal se section so we have these hydraulic jump taking place and the sequent depths before the jump it is 0.5 meter and after the jump it is 1.5 meter and if we see the cross section then this is the cross section it is a triangular cross section then it is asking the flow rate in meter cube per second so we have been given these steps we have been given the channel shape and it is asking for the discharge or flow rate in meter cube per second in this channel now if you have gone through hydraulic jump topic and if you know some basic about it then the sequent depth relation that all of you or most of you might be knowing that y2 by y1 is given as minus 1 plus square root of 1 plus 8 f1 square upon 2 this is the most common relation that we know in this hydraulic jump so from this relation if we see if you want to find out the discharge so discharge we know it is given as area times velocity area will be the area of cross section of this triangular section times velocity velocity we can find out if we have the froud number so both of these steps are given in the question y1 is 0.5 meter and y2 is 1.5 meter and based on that we can find out the velocity and we can find out the discharge but if you do that then the solution that you will obtain will be wrong what is the reason behind it that this formula that we have written here it is only applicable to rectangular channels similarly there is one more formula that is for unit discharge that also some of you might be remembering that is q square upon g is equal to y1 y2 y1 plus y2 upon 2 this is another formula which could be used here but again you will obtain the wrong answer because both of these formula both of these formulae that we have written here are only applicable to rectangular channels so that is one point that is one thing you should keep in mind while writing down the notes that when we are writing the formulae then what are the limitations what are the assumptions involved in those formulae otherwise it is very easy to commit mistake now apart from these two formulae before we even reach these formulae when we derive the formulae for hydraulic jump we have something else based on which we derive these formulae that is specific force for the rapidly varied flow rapidly varied flow in which this hydraulic jump comes we have the specific force to be constant when we talk about hydraulic jump and this specific force if you have gone through the material or the subject it is given as p plus m by gamma that is pressure force momentum force by the unit weight now this equation this specific force equation here we have not assumed any channel or anything in particular so those assumptions are not involved in this formula so this formula is valid for all the channels irrespective of the cross section this formula will be valid so this also apart from these two formulae when we are writing down the notes this is the first formula that you should write in your notes now this is not a very functional formula when we write in the form of p plus m by gamma so 
instead of writing that you can write a better form of it which will be useful and you can apply easily so this pressure force in this case it is given as pressure acting at the cg so let's say this is the cg here of the channel so pressure acting at cg will be we know from the fluid statics the pressure on submerged bodies so this pressure it's given as gamma a h h is the distance of the cg from the surface so or h bar we can write so that's how we write the pressure force so this is the value of p and this momentum it is given as rho q v so that is the value of momentum now if we put these values here then we can write this formula as gamma a h plus rho q v by gamma for specific force gamma it is divided by so we have a h plus here it will become q v by g because gamma is equal to rho times g and this velocity here velocity we can write as discharge by area so in that way this specific force we can write as a h plus q square upon g a that is the more usable form i mean you can directly apply this form in any question if you have been given these different cross sections for for any of the channels so this formula we can apply here in this question and understand its application so basically we have this triangular channel with side slope of 1 is to 1 that is if depth here is y then this here will also be y 1 is to 1 slope mean that this angle is 45 degree here and we know 10 45 will be equal to like if we have this as perpendicular and base so p by b so here it will be 1 so perpendicular and base both come e equal so we have this depth as y and half width as y similarly this half will also be y so total top width will be 2y now here in this formula it says a area of flow so for this triangular channel area of flow will be half into base into height so half times y times 2y 2y is the base and y is the height and h h is the location of cg from the surface so this h here for triangular channel it will be y upon 3 from this end if we were writing from this bottom it would have been 2y upon 3 but here you should keep in mind that this location is from the surface so that is this first term a h plus q square upon g a so q we have to find any way so let it be q by g g is a constant and area of flow so if you see this term indicates the area of flow here so that is simply y square so this term when we write y q by 3 plus q square upon g y square this is for our particular i mean this is the specific force for triangular channel now we just have to put the values and write i mean write the specific force at these two sections section 1 and section 2 and equate the two because specific force remains constant in case of a hydraulic jump so at section 1 we'll write this as y1 cube upon 3 plus q square discharge won't change upon g y1 square is equal to y2 cube upon 3 plus q square upon g y2 square so y1 is 0.5 meter so 0.5 cube by 3 plus q square upon g times 0.5 square is equal to y2 cube so y2 is 1.5 meter so 1.5 cube by 3 plus q square upon g 1.5 square 
then we can simplify it and solve so we have q square upon g times 1 upon 0.5 square minus 1 upon 1.5 square is equal to 1.5 cube minus 0.5 cube by 3 then we can further simplify q square upon g this will be 1.5 square minus 0.5 square a square minus b square so that can be written as a plus b times a minus b divided by the product of the two that is 0.5 square times 1.5 square is equal to 1.5 cube minus 0.5 cube by 3 so this will be 2 times 1 so numerator here is coming as 2 then we can solve it so q square g is equal to 9.81 so q square is equal to 1.5 cube minus 0.5 cube times 0.5 square times 1.5 square upon 3 into 2 that is 6 so after this if you use calculator we obtain the value of q as 1.73 meter cube per second that is the value of discharge in this triangular channel where this hydraulic jump is taking place so to avoid this sort of mistake to apply these wrong formulae in the question when you make your short notes when you make your short notes make sure you write the assumptions also involved in these formulae rather than simply writing the formulae because at the end it will be difficult to remember all these formulae so it is better that in these short notes also you mention these things so apart from this on our website we have also written a blog post about rapidly varied flow and hydraulic jump so you can go through this and find out basic information then there are some youtube videos which also explain the open channel flow the complete open channel flow in depth and with the help of that you can complete your preparation and for revision you can go through this page where all of this is given in short and at the end of this blog there is a small quiz for you with the help of which you can check your knowledge